What's up, everybody? It is time to do what we love to do best, which is listen to new music from untapped talent across the country. Hi, guys. My name is Sensei Uche, and this is Listening Session. On today's show, I know you can't wait to see what our talent have for us, but don't forget, we also have our safety guests in the studio. Myself and this person, we have bumped, bumped, bumped shows together. I love the energy that she brings when she's on the deck. And she has that very room, room, room name that you love. Yep, you'll be missing her. And we'll also be talking trending issues so much on the show today. I know you can't wait. I can't wait. Guys, it's time for listening session. Ow! Let's go. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, it is time for us to meet our celebrity guest for today. My celebrity guest is going to help us, of course, listen to the music from our pre-selected talent. She is one of the biggest, baddest DJs in Africa. And she's got that Zoom Zoom name. Please welcome to listening session, DJ Lazo. Oh. having me, man. The, uh, Thanks for having you. It's my pleasure <laughs> to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you. What, thank no, you. Okay, so the show is listening sessions, and of course, you know, we've done all that. But mm -hmm. as a producer, DJ, artist, ent entrepreneur, all of that, what do you listen to when people say, okay, you know what, Lamba, I'm going to send my song to you. I want you to listen to it. I want you. What do you I listen to? What for? do I listen for? Yeah. Um, technically, oh. I listen to like the delivery. Okay. The lyrics, okay. Um, the quality of the mix, okay, very important. Um, the what else? What else? Yeah, that's pretty much it for the okay. technical side. So, and then for yeah. the what word do I use now? For the what? The, the vibe. The vibe. <laughs> from that, I feel well, like that word vibe has been overused. But yeah, the vibe. <laughs> The vibical side. We got a new word, guys. We have a new word, vibical. Uh, okay, so, so on the vibical side. Yeah, just like how the music makes you feel. You know oh, how okay, you just yeah, know, yeah, like, true. damn, this song is going to bang in the club. Yeah. Or oh, this song is going to make you feel a certain type of way. And then you know that, oh, a lot of people would be able to relate yeah. to this record. So, okay, yeah. so tell, tell me. What kind of things that One song mm -hmm. that you heard, mm -hmm. you know, from your career mm -hmm. that's you just heard first time that Omoji's song is going to bang in the club or oh. be a hit or be a smile. It doesn't have to be a club song, but you know, yeah. music wise, just going to be. And, and it was that. Oh, so many. So hey, what? Many, <laughs> I know, so many songs. But uh, let me see. The one I can remember right now is Mad Over You eh? by Run Town. Are you serious? And the reason why I bring it up is because that song is not, a, it's not even a club song. No. But. I knew when I heard it that a lot of people are going to. F I'm sorry, a lot of people are going to. <laughs> um, they're going to f with it. Yeah, you know what I mean. And they're going to be able to relate to it. It's such a feel-good song, like, yeah. and it's a song that people want to sing along to. And it's not over. So I just knew that, yo, this song is going to be a hit. Okay. And it was a hit. What, <laughs> what's the feeling like? So that I will start practicing. You know, so when I hear hits or my hits, you know, <laughs> you know, they tingly like oof. My I hands know. It's just when you when you listen to it, you know that, and just imagine like a lot of people oof. listening to it at, at the same, same time. time. You know that, yeah, people are going to mess with this song. Okay, so DJ Lambo <laughs> just told us, you know, some of the things that you know, or a song, and she has like so many guys, <laughs> so, so so many. Okay, let's come oh. back to um, you and music. What's it like? Yeah, I was talking about uh, to you about you going to South Africa and mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. um, do you think we are overflogging the Amma piano vibe as Nigerians? And do you mm -hmm. think that we're doing it justice? Because, you know, a lot of people mm -hmm. are trying to get into it, do mm -hmm. it, and it's a fantastic vibe that has swept, mm -hmm. you know, the whole of Africa. Do you think we're overdoing it or and we're, we're doing it right or we're not? Which one? Where do you stand? Well, first of all, let me just say, I think that Ama Piano has been like the greatest invention in music in a really, Tell really long time. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> in a really, really long time. So I really, really love Ama Piano. And yeah. for me, I've been listening to Ama Piano since like 2019. Okay. There yeah, 2019. So Is like even as soon too, as... Yeah. As soon as it just came out, I'm just like, yo, I think this sound is going to take over. Um, sidebar, 
with music, I've realized that Nigerians and South Africans have so much in common. So, so much in common. And it's like, even before Amar Piano came on board, there was this sound like, um, it's kind of like Afro house-ish. You know the record, Make? Ke, ke, yeah, so you know, Nigerians, we got on we that got sound on as that. well. I think anything, you know, anything that had that steady bass yeah. drum and a lot of percussions. The music culture in Nigeria and South Africa is very, 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 very similar. So we can, as much as they do it, and they do it, they you know, do it yeah. well. and we do we ours do well, well, yeah. Well. So I think for me, it's really genius that Nigerians would take Ama Piano, infuse some Afro beats sounds and then the lyrics it's like KY's is highway now uh, it's yeah. such a dope beat and then Fino is speaking Igbo Igbo on, on it. it trust me it, it's never even occurred to me to ask an evil person like what's this guy even saying uh, I don't care Fino only highway <laughs> the care. highway person the highway it's the vibe like it <laughs> takes over you like it bad. just occurred to me like yo I don't even know what that song means but I'm always singing the highway wait for me Okay. Yeah. Well, nah, okay, sorry, let's not go there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, so it's explicit. No, no, it's not explicit too. No. It's what? It's very, very, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's not explicit, no, it's not explicit. Yeah. So <laughs> and I think it, it that same goes for the South African Aman piano as well. You know, someone is just on the record, on the beat, just chatting some sh I don't even oh. <laughs> e, e, e. Don't worry, I'm don't sorry. worry. Don't bleep. <laughs> Someone is just on the, you know, beat saying something that all South Africans can relate to and they love. And they love. So it's like in, in the club, everybody's singing to the lyrics, dancing, you know. It's so, it's so nice. It's so nice. That's, that's all I can say. Okay. And Nigerians are doing a great job doing Nigerian and my piano. It's, it's amazing. Nigerians definitely will do a great job. <laughs> on almost everything. I trust us. I over trust <laughs> us. Okay, let's, let's talk about you and what you're doing. Post 2020. Um, I, I see 2020 as some sort of um, sch schematics, as a plan, because the world has changed, whether yeah, we like it or not. It so has. I see 2020 as that you know, beginning phase of this is where the world is going, and mm. whatever you, it is that you did in 2020 to keep yourself going, that's the way I see it, mm. is what you know, will be the template for you going mm. forward, whether it's work. Whether it's the way that you chill, whether it's being related to people who are around you, I just that's Misha, you know. This thing you just said now, you may not know it, but it's actually very profound, hmm. very very profound, and it's made me think. It's like it, I just got a message from you. Space me, who say my church? Okay, I understand, but yeah. So anyway, what's the message? Yeah. No, what okay. you said, yeah. what you said, I, I like, I it's, can relate it's, one hundred percent. Yeah. But yeah, 2020 was, I mean, as much as it was a crazy year, it was still a really good year for me, like in my career and yeah. stuff. I got to do a lot of the things that I'd been wanting to do, like for a very, very long time. I dropped an EP. You did. I signed an endorsement deal. Damn. I, you know, I mean, it's, it's just been like milestones upon milestones upon mi milestones. And I did this all as an independent artist. As an artist. independent artist. Do you get what I mean? So it's, it's it was a really interesting year for me let me say you know and yeah okay <laughs> being an independent artist yes. and also <laughs> being a female entrepreneur and businesswoman yeah, yeah. oh and i started my business too yeah actually. of course <laughs> she did um yes, how is the entertainment industry you know pre-2020 and post-2020 for women mm. right now because I, I had someone in the studio and we we're talking about um, her career and you know she was like oh, but no, let me not put words in your mouth but what what is it like is it better for women in the entertainment space you know well um to be honest I, I can't really speak on that but I would say that entertainment has taken a different turn in the sense that now people are looking more for substance yeah. because we were stuck at home for a really long time for months and months and months so um if you've been getting away with mediocre stuff, now people are looking for more substance. Yeah. So, and I think that applies to everybody. I think now people are paying more attention. Yeah. Because, you know, we've been stuck at home. People are now starting to... You know, sometimes I had an argument with someone, although it's not really an argument, because yeah. he was of the opinion that um, 
if Omale had broken out when there was no COVID, he's not sure that he would have been doing the same amount of numbers Who's that this he, he was doing now. So a friend of mine. I know, but <laughs> <laughs> so he I'm had a send point. people to look no. for you. No, 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 no. Let me okay, let, let me, me let point. explain it to yeah, you. Okay. He had a point in the mm -hmm. sense that. You know the music is cool. Yeah. Malay's music is really cool. It's yeah. just you know. <laughs> so he's like, because people are knowing the club, the people are at home listening to the music. That's oh, why. That's why they can they, relate. They to can it. relate to Very it, and they really love it, and they can play it over and over and over again. But just imagining, imagine without listening to the music at home and loving it, yeah. and then you just hear it in the club randomly. It may not. You may, you may not feel the same way. You know what I mean? There's a point. He there. has a point, but he has a point. But are we still living here? Go back everywhere. <laughs> home, <laughs> outside. I was against this. Yeah. We argued for hours. I'm like, no, hey, yeah, it's the close. Let me see you. Like, ah, that's not said. I got my liver. I think he's okay. I can't say that one. You know. <laughs> but but anyway, <laughs> so so that's the point I'm trying to make. Like now, people are listening for substance. People yeah. don't just want to hear Papa Didi, Papa Didi. They want to hear like lyrics, they want to hear good music, you know what I mean? So that transcends to both male and female. Like, for the females, maybe people are paying attention now yeah. because females have always had substance, of they're course, always definitely. singing. Like, if you listen to Simi, Tiwa, Yemi, everybody is singing, singing, you know what I mean? The lyrics are there, the talent is there, everything is there. So Maybe it's better now because people are paying more attention. Okay. So um, before we go into um, you meeting our talents, three pre-selected talents from Pool of Talents, okay. I'm going to ask you this final one. Um, <clears throat> doing your thing now yeah. as an independent artist, mm -hmm. what are the things that you have learned from being signed in a label or being part of a label mm -hmm. that you would take with you? Mm -hmm. And what are the things that you will not take with you? Because... <sighs> That's a very relative question. It says that I think it differs for everyone and it differs with each label, label or yeah. whatever. Mm. Um, for me, like, Chelsea City was like my family. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I literally moved to Lagos and signed to Chelsea City almost immediately. So, and like, that's. All those guys were my people. You yeah. know what I mean? Why are my people? Are your people. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was, that was. So, coming out of that is um for me i'll take that spirit of you know togetherness uh, togetherness camaraderie you know what i mean just like i i love the family structure thing that we had going on there okay. you know so i would take that if i was to ever yeah you know i'll try to make everybody feel like somebody regardless you know what i mean um also something else i miss would be maybe the structure okay because now i'm pretty much like Doing. a one-man army even though i have a management team i have a pr team i have distribution team you know but you have to coordinate, I have to coordinate everything, everything. and you still remain I mean? creative yeah, yeah. So you remain creative you know what i mean and you know we have like art direction everything like i have to be like okay okay what are we doing how are we doing this okay i need to do this do this do this do that but when i was with chocolate city i, I did think about that i'm just like i need to do a shoot okay cool Everything is sorted. I just, yeah. just go, you know. <laughs> Wake up and just. Ah. You know what I mean? Everything is paid for and everything. But now I have to like talk to my management. How much are we willing to spend? What are we doing? You, well, know, that's that, you, know, you know what I mean? That's it, it is that's growth. That's, growth. that's That's you taking it's control a lot of, of it's your. It's a lot of growth. It's a, it's a lot, lot of, of growth. growth. Yeah. Okay, guys, you've heard from DJ Lambo. I know that she has <laughs> so much to share with us. Get on our social media, talk to her. She will talk to you if she's in the mood. But the mood that we're in right now, we want to listen to three songs. All right. from uh, three talents that we've pre-selected. But first, we're going to watch a 60-second video, just okay. see what they look like. Okay. Yeah, And then we listen to their music also for 60 seconds, because I think that should be enough. Yeah, 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 of course. Okay, to determine a song. Actually, that's what we do, and we have our criteria. You were listing part of it earlier. You uh, were our criteria <laughs> that we used to hear. Lyrics, delivery, Vibes. vocal. <laughs> Vibica <laughs> will add that to our criteria, guys. We're watching the videos now. Keep the listening sessions. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We've seen our three selected talents for today. Now, they are Buna, Velda, Dre Songs, and 
now. Okay, so we're going to be listening to the songs, 60 seconds from each track. And Lambo is ready. We have the criteria. We'll listen to all of them, and then I'll list out the criteria, and you, t you know, tell us who gets the tick. The okay. tick. Okay. First off, we're going with Dre songs. First off, play one listening sessions. Dre song. Whoa, whoa. See me, my man, you've been on me quite to the Lord that way me go and make it. Do the Got a lot of questions to ask, but I will be going to make it. Confession, confession, tears in my heart, causing erosion. Detention, detention. See, I'm rocked up. Yeah, yeah, me need me freedom. Questions, questions to ask. What? Sharp like a swine. So sometimes me ask myself, are you banned for riches or are you banned for fame? Or are you just a calamity? Another hopeless fella. Oh, me gonna be worshipped. Great money and fella. Who's gonna answer my questions? Tell me now. Who's gonna break all the chains? Tell me now. Who's gonna wipe out me tears? Tell me now. Who's gonna stop me from drowning? Tell me now. But when me rise up, hear me now. And when me speak what, hear me now. When me flop, tell me now. Who's gonna answer my questions? Tell me now. Who's gonna break all the chains? Tell me now. Who's gonna wipe out me tears? Tell me now. Who's gonna stop me from drowning? Tell me now. Okay, guys, so that's that's our first play. First play listening session today. Dre songs. Lambo has listened to it. We're going to go straight to the next one. Um, um, I yeah. thought we were going to do it like back to back. No, no, no. Because Hope I don't forget like hey. all the things I was thinking about this song. Eh, you won't forget. Go on. You won't forget. <laughs> we need the criteria. Okay, so we're playing either Nell or Buna. Okay, so we're playing Buna Velda. Buna Velda, listen to. Uh, put it on doggy. Aye, why? It's your boy. Yeah. Hey, it's your boy. M to the E, K A V L D E. Baby girl, you go mad. You go bring pressure down like Jack Sparrow. Nah, nah. Switch in Switching your rig, now you wanna have a trick, but you can't win screen. Baby girl, you go mad. You go bring pressure down like Jack Sparrow. Nah, nah. Switch Switching your rig, now you wanna have a trick, but you can't win screen. Love and sex, you gave you me sexual healing. Way your body bang is in your reach, how you got me tripping. I can't explain, yeah, you when you mesmerize me. You buy them bush, my Swiss in the reach, I'm a one time group. Mom, your love the way you roll, come chill with me tonight. Give you so that's our play, Jews. And this is uh, Bonavista. Bona <laughs> What's his Buna name? Velda. Buna Velda. <laughs> okay, so that's Buna Velda. So that's in two. Okay, let's play the third one, and that is from Nell. Shy guy. Shy guy. the heat maker. Baby, you make me feel alright. You be making love all night, you entice me, be getting high all night Yeah, 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 baby, you make me feel alright We be making love all night, you entice me, be getting high all night Exactly, surprise is an understatement. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's an understatement, guys. That was Nell, uh, short for Nelson, our third play. Okay, so the criteria are lyrics, we have delivery. That's of course vocals, vocal delivery, lyrics in trend or playable, um, unique or copycat, mm -hmm. star factor, mm -hmm. and the last one, marketability or bankability. Or bankability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so let's give them the, the take. So, who do you give the First take for um, lyrics. Sorry, vocal delivery. Mm. Nell, Bonavelda, or Dre? Bonavelda. Bonavelda, why? What about this? Um, 
Bonavelda, I think he he's more ready than the other two. Are you serious? This last yeah. guy. No. no, this this last guy was really dope. I'll I'll tell you why. We'll okay. get into it. Okay. But Bonavelda, all through the record, I could hear him. I could feel him. Okay. Like you, you're talking about vocals. Yeah. Right? So. Can I do the comparison? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. You can. Okay. So, the first guy, um, Dre songs. Yeah. He's voice is very very strong he has a really strong voice and the kind of music he's doing suits Sweet his voice, voice. Yeah. but that record still needs some work and mm. i'll tell you why when we get into it okay but we're just talking about the voice now. yeah we're talking so, and notes we don't, and we're not looking at production quality yeah 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 because yeah, yeah, that at also can be quality, like just a, the voice and then this guy bonavista bonavelda bonavelda <laughs> sorry his voice like maybe it's just this record <laughs> but he got it right his yeah. vocals were sitting on the beat everything was on point i i really liked it and then this male guy yeah even though he has a better voice than bonavelda yeah his delivery was a little bit he wasn't so confident. I could see it. Oh, I could come on, no. Record. Maybe it's because you already saw him and no, he said he was no. shy. Trust okay, me. Okay, eh. Of course. Trust me. Eh. The way he was singing, eh. it was like he was a bit far from the mic. Hmm. Or maybe it's just the mixing and mastering or whatever. But it was like he wasn't... He, he wasn't has, bringing it out. out like, like there's it. more he can do. do let, you know let, I mean? let me ask you something. Can he be coached to be better? Yeah, of course. Best? See, he has a lot of potential. Okay. A lot of potential. A lot oh, of potential. Lyrics. Let's get to lyrics. Trust lyrics. Me. Lyrics. So, so who do you give the lyrics? Lyrics. Um, I think the first guy, even though now I've forgotten it, but his lyrics kind of struck out to me. Dre's when he was songs. like, yeah, Dre and then he was like, who will answer the questions or mm. something? I can't remember. But okay. His lyrics was like deep, deep yeah, lyrics. Do you get what I mean? Even though the other two are really nice lyrically, they are not bad at all, but they are your usual, oh, baby. Not like it was in his soul I mean? yeah. with this song. So, but that one was like deep, deep stuff, not just like love and... Okay, so, I so far... So that's why I, I messed with that. So far, thing. let's see um, Dre songs. The first, yeah. We got the first take mm -hmm. for uh, mm -hmm. lyrics. Mm -hmm. No, for vocal. For vocal, it was uh, Buna. Buna. It Buna. was Buna. 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 Then for lyrics, it was Dre. Yeah. That's uh -huh. the first guy. Okay, uh -huh. so let's get into playable and in trend. Which one of these songs is like most playable, like easily playable and in trend with everything out there? Like if you're spinning, you're just like, oh, my, <sighs> just fix it. In. This is a tough one, but it's tough between Nail and Bonavenda. Buna 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 <laughs> Buna <laughs> Buna 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 I'm sorry, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, it's it's mm. tough for me to choose, man. I really like both records, okay. and I think both records will sell. Like, I really, really like both. So we give both Although, of them the take. Yeah, we'll give both of them the take. Okay, exactly. So both of you got it then. Um, okay, so who is the most unique, and who was the copycat? Check this out. Copycat can also, you know, be a, you know, a your benefits can be your you know mm. so who is who was unique who's a copycat who sounds like somebody you've heard before you know what yeah to be honest they both they, they the three um of the three of them so for dre songs yeah he was unique in that he he's doing a different kind of genre that is not so popular yeah do you get what i mean so that's like unique in the sense that he's doing like almost hardcore reggae type well, type acceptable. music yeah it's yeah, very yeah, it's acceptable. acceptable so i think that's unique in its in its own sense okay but these but other two guys even though they are doing afro beats yeah it's about a woman it's like love is direct this is the usual yeah. but it's still different because they still brought in their own personality into it's the music fantastic and i i mess with it i love it okay so three of them <laughs> Get this, we'll yeah. get it. Yeah, we have a good very unique episode. I love it. I really love it. Lambo is sharing the love. Okay, so um, let's see. Star factor. From what you saw, the video. Who um, do you think has a star factor? So you know the thing about star factor is that brand them. Um, I mean, it's like three of them all have the ingredients. Yeah. 
So they just need proper airing, proper branding, proper to just put it together and just bring out the product. So who has that? Who stood who's, out? Um, who's yeah, more stood out most. Like, or will be easily moldable or you know, you know fashionable, fashioned into. I think Nell. Even though Nell, I only just saw his face, but like his face was right there, Can't and he's it. kind of cute. Yeah. Oh. So, <laughs> I feel like. Oh. <laughs> I feel like he he can he can he can he can be easily sellable. And Dre Songs has that you know rough neck type. Oh yeah. You know that whole burner boy, fine boy, but bad yeah, guy type. You know true, what I mean? True, true, so he too he too is sellable. And um the Buna 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 Vista. Let me Buna, Velda. Buna Buna Velda. <laughs> Buna Velda. I think the the video I saw was just like not so clear yeah but i think he also has it to be okay. honest i think he also has it final take for the criteria and this is the one that i think everybody wants to know which who is like most marketable or bankable from what you're saying that's someone that's you know bankable this talent is raw it's still unrefined but if i put money if i put branding if i put a &R, mm -hmm, you know, and mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. person would become Ooh. the finished product and would last you know not just the this flash. is a tough one actually between now and Buna. Ah. I really like both of them. Okay, let's say you had like a million dollars to throw away. Not to throw away, but to invest. I'll choose Neil because of what I what I feel from his personality from that video. Because it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole, because of what I feel from his personality. Yeah, because like he's just like, oh, I'm actually just shy. Yeah. I'm, like, oh, yeah. I'm not really. That's relatable. So he feels like, yeah, he looks like, actually, you. <laughs> <laughs> everything come back to everything. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. Yo, it's okay, cute. Labo, thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. for thank having you me. So I, I'm really. Maybe you should be sending me this music now. Maybe I can. <laughs> I'm really definitely. I thought I was just gonna hear some. Nah, you know, you know everybody this. wants to be an artist these days. Yeah. So, but this this was really good. This was really really good. And if I'm to give some advice to all three of them, I would say. Um, Nell, you are really talented. You are really amazing. Please remain cute. Just <laughs> always know this in your head that you are all that and a bag of chips. So oh. let that reflect in your music. Be more confident. Like let them know. For Bonavelda, Bona I'll say Velda. number one. Try and change your name. Go with either, <laughs> go with either Velda or, or Bruna. Bruna. You no, know Bona Velda Bruna is close to Bona. Oh yeah, it's yeah, too that's close to that. So maybe go with Velda. I think that would be really nice. Velda. Yeah, Velda. The yeah. dope name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think you should go with that. It'll be easier for everybody. To, it's a brand, you know. Like, uh, I don't want to name brands. Yeah. <laughs> but like Google, you yeah. know, it's just Google. You know what I mean? So just go with Velda. I think it's dope. Um, I think you're really amazing. I think you're actually ready from the music I heard. Like, the quality of the music is on point. It's dope. It's really dope. And uh, yeah, you're ready. Um, for Dre songs. No name change. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I think that name is too similar to some other names. Come you know on, what I mean? Like, yeah, so over. yeah. I don't know, man. But that that's up to you. It can still work. I mean, hey, it's up to if you. You're you know Dre, if you're searching Dre, Dre, yeah. yeah when you trade, they can't you know, there's Dre like Dr. Dre. There's Dre beats. There's you know, then there's Dre songs and then Dre songs. You know, what I mean, it's a lot. But hey, it's up to you, man. I, I can't tell you what to do. But I really love your music. I really love your sound. There are only a few people who are doing that type of music, and I think you should really, really own it and come out with it and just come with it. But you'll be surprised the, the plethora of people that love that type of music. You know what I mean? So keep doing your thing, man. Keep on keeping on. Ew! <laughs> you see, I didn't even have to say anything I to her. It. She was just dishing out, you know, this advice to you it. guys. I love it. And I, I totally love it. it. Lambo, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Thanks for having me. This has been fun. Yeah. Okay, guys, <laughs> make sure you get on our Instagram for today's yeah. episode at Listening Session Music. Go ahead and tell us who you like most. You mm -hmm. can give us your opinion on uh, each of them and also vote for them okay yeah. don't forget but vote for them because at the end of the season they stand a chance of being part of listening session like we'll have people like dj lambo and industry heads in a space and they'll perform their music that was so amazing i'm looking forward to seeing all these three guys ahead today. that's if they vote for them <laughs> oh wait what do you call it man say? <laughs> <laughs>
Where from one to one? From one to infinity. <laughs> After by by blicker. Is it by blicker? <laughs> Thank God you forgot to. No, I know you by blicker. <laughs> it is by blicker. Guys, when we come back, I'll tell you what's happening on the trending side of life. Why? Because it can be transformed. No, you know after. <laughs> to the show guys thank you so much dj lambo for coming through okay it's time for trending issues you know this is where i talk about everything's happening on the social space now today i'm going to talk about someone that i have a few things in common now you know i love music right yes i love music i love the bass guitar this person loves music like i do loves listening to music knows how to play or oh, more fantastic bass guitarist like myself and at one point at one point Wanted to marry Rihanna, but now Rihanna is mine. Oh, mine! Why? Because Don Jazzy was previously married. How didn't you know this? Don Jazzy, you're a great guy. Fantastic gentleman. Didn't spill the beans. Didn't, you know, give um, the person that he was previously married to any drama on social media and all that. He just, you know, maintained himself and kept professing his love for Rihanna. We should not be anymore, brother. Sensei Uche and Rihanna, 2020, <laughs> if it will ever happen. Guys, thank you so much for watching the show. That's my trending issues for today. But don't forget, get on our social media platform at Listening Session Music. Watch and vote for your favorites, okay? On our YouTube, uh, it is King Model Productions. Subscribe and make sure you share it with your friends. Follow me on social media at Sensei Uche. That is my handle across all platforms. Kim Model Prod on Instagram. Make sure you follow and also listening session music on Instagram and Twitter. I'm excited, guys. You guys don't know why, but I'll tell you later. When? The next episode. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Listening sessions is out for now. Bye, baby. Yeah.